Yeah, seven. Where to look? Oh, just down the middle there, Mark. Down the centre, okay. In the ABC camera. Gotcha. Okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, South Australia Police are very keen for this to be a fun, family and friendly event. And as such, we've got a couple of points we'd like to um, emphasise. One is traffic restrictions. There are traffic restrictions from 9 o'clock every morning through to about 11 o'clock each night, commencing tomorrow or Friday. It's 25 kilometres an hour speed limit on uh, Leader Street, Rose Terrace and Goodwood Road, and we ask people who are travelling that uh, directions to make sure that they um, have some patience. Secondly, security of vehicles, security of your valuables. Make sure that you bring nothing of value to leave in a car if you're going to bring your car to the uh, grounds or the showgrounds or the car parks. Secondly, if you're wearing valuables, bringing valuables, your wallets, purses, phones, great idea to have a zip up pocket. Um, we just don't want them losing them accidentally or some other means of losing your uh, valuables. And thirdly, we've got um, some of these wristbands. They're if I'm lost wristbands, we'd like the children, to, or young children, to be wearing them. Phone number, contact phone number goes inside the wristbands. It helps police immensely when we find young kids wandering around. The police office is where the kids will be taken to, and we expect that the parents or uh, contacts will go there to find the young children. Police officers will be carrying these to hand out to the young kids. You can get them at the um, entrance points, you can get them at information stands. So we appreciate your support in that. For the grown up kids or for adults, please nominate a meeting place, a meeting place around the showgrounds that's familiar to everyone. And then arrange, remember your mobile phones may not work at some stages during this um, event. Um, thank you very much. Would there be uh, a lot of speed checks around the 25 zones to book people who are going over the limit? Yeah, our traffic police will be out there uh, monitoring yeah, at various times and locations around, as I said, Rose Terrace, uh, Bleeder Street and Goodwood Road. Can you give us an idea of some of the resources? Obviously the police forces are here. Um, are they yeah, we have police forces. We have um, police dogs will be around uh, at various times. We have police bikes, they're mainly outside the event. We'll have transit police outside the event doing the uh, transport routes. Um, the railway lines are working from uh, the new Wavell station and Goodwood station. We have the bus lines being monitored as well. Inside naturally we'll have uniformed police, we'll have plain clothes police both operating inside and outside. So what do you say to those people who every year decide you know, alcohol will be a contributing factor and we'll try and run a muck here? Yeah, I just remember this is supposed to be a family event and a fun event and a friendly event. Um, if you're going to be consuming alcohol here, just keep it to a minimum and controllable level. What is the biggest issue for police here at the long term? The biggest issue is lost children. So that's why we're really pushing these if I'm lost wristbands. Do you want to just say that again? Okay. The biggest issue we would have here would be lost children. They think it's funny. They do. <laughs> That's all right. The biggest issue we have here would be lost children and trying to um, get the families reunited. So with these wristbands, how many kids would you get on average turning up to the police centre? Uh, sometimes up to about 20 a day. So um, naturally it takes up a lot of resources trying to locate the family's members. And it's great if there's a phone number on there we can ring. We don't put names on there, it's just the phone number and uh, we'll contact that phone number and let them know where their children are.